What's up, Blue Devil fans? This is DukeBlueForever.com teaming up with DukeReport.com to give you a video recap of the first week of the Blue Devils' 2009-2010 season. The few days leading up to the season didn't start out the way Blue Devil fans would want. Harrison Barnes turned out to be a tar hole, Mason Plumley broke his wrist, and Nolan Smith had to sit out the first two games with a suspension. But despite massive meltdowns from fans, the season still started off in a big way when Duke beat the UNC Greensboro Spartans 96-62. John Shire came up big as expected in his first game of the season. He had 18 points, 4 assists, and 0, yes, 0 turnovers. We got to see what newcomers like Andre Dawkins could do, and he looked ready to contribute from the get-go, showing his sweet stroke from the perimeter, as well as a lot of athleticism. Miles Plumley also had a solid first night with 10 points and 9 rebounds, hopefully giving Blue Devil fans a little bit of a taste of what to expect in the post this year. We even got to see some nice things out of guys like Oleg Chiz and Brian Zubek. But Kyle Singler was absolutely ridiculous in his first game of the season. He scored 20 points and had 5 rebounds, but the thing about Singler is that he does just about everything. He handles the ball, he scores inside, he scores outside, he gets rebounds. It's basically like every game is a clinic on how to play basketball led by Kyle Singler. Almost like a weekly Kyle Singler instructional basketball video. Hey kids, welcome to another episode of Kyle Singler's How to Play Basketball. In today's episode, we'll show you how to catch and shoot, shoot a floater, post up and use the glass, fake a defender, and shoot off the dribble. We'll also show you how to rebound the basketball, how to score by using a finger roll, how to drive to the basket and distribute to an open man. How to pull up off the dribble. How to block someone trying to score at the rim. And we'll also teach you how to steal the basketball, jump over a defender, take the ball down the court, and score in transition. Don't forget to tune in next week when we'll talk about how to dunk the basketball and play defense. Duke's second game was a 74-49 victory over the Coastal Carolina Chanticleers, which is uh, apparently some kind of rooster. Their cheerleaders were really excited before the game, but someone should have told them they were about to play Duke. Despite a triangle and two defense, Shire and Singler both had great nights. Shire had 10 points and 5 assists, and for the second game in a row, zero turnovers. Singler just went off for 23 points and 11 rebounds. And keep in mind, that was with a triangle and two defense where their whole job was just to keep him from catching the ball. 23 points and 11 rebounds. Ouch. Dawkins really asserted himself and showed his confidence. His shot wasn't falling the way it normally would, but he was still aggressive and netted 13 points. Miles had another solid performance. He really does give Duke a legitimate inside scoring presence for the first time in years, and it's only going to get better when Mason can get healthy and join him on the court. Duke's third victory of the year came with a 101-59 rout of the UNC Charlotte 49ers. Nolan Smith was back, and everyone was expecting big things out of him. He definitely delivered and scored a career-high 24 points with 5 rebounds and 5 assists to add to that stat line. Singler had another fantastic night. Doing a little bit of everything, he scored 17 points. Miles Plumley chipped in a double-double with 15 points and 11 rebounds. You can definitely tell that Miles is starting to click and, and get his role of being a legitimate inside scoring presence for the Blue Devils. Shire had a big night with 20 points, 5 assists, and for the third game in a row, 0 turnovers. That brings us to the DukeBlueForever.com Play of the Week. If I had to pick a runner-up, it would be John Shire's alley-oop to Miles Plumley in the second half of the UNC Charlotte game. I think we're all hoping to see a lot more of that as the season wears on. The best play came a few minutes later with a nasty block by John Shire. Yeah, you, you heard me right. A nasty block by John Shire, which led to a dunk on the other end by Nolan Smith. Take another look at it, because that is just... That's just nice. There's no other way to say it. It's just nice. After three games in the books, Duke is averaging a 34-point margin of victory. Shire is averaging 16 points, 
4.5 assists and zero turnovers per game. So, so much for all that crap about how he can't play point guard. Singler's averaging 20 points. So the season looks like it could be very, very promising. Make sure to tune in next week when we recap week two of the season. This is Duke Blue Forever and DukeReport.com saying, go Duke and go to Hell Carolina.